This is Snow Globe, the spherical display that I built about a year ago. I never felt like the project was complete because it was missing a method of interactivity. Originally, the plan was to add touch support to the globe, but I haven't come up with a good way of doing that yet. In the meantime, I came up with a completely different control scheme. This is a 3D printed model of the Earth that controls the rotation of the snow globe. Inside this model is an inertial measurement unit that my friend Donnie and I have been working on for the last few months. It interfaces over Bluetooth to the computer that's driving the snow globe. In this mode, the rotation of the snow globe follows the controller one-to-one. -one. If I flip the controller over, it changes to a mode where rotating the controller scrolls through images on the snow globe. You can see here that continents are forming uh, probably in reverse. Here are seasons, I believe, one image per month. We can flip the, uh, the controller back over and go back in rotation mode. Here is uh, an image of the night sky, and that's the Milky Way. Inside the globe we have revision one of the motion tracker that Donnie and I are working on, called the adjacent reality tracker. Ignore the word node there, we had a name collision. Here's revision 2, which is about half the board area. On the tracker board we have a 3-axis gyro and a 3-axis accelerometer slash magnetometer, both from STMicro. We also have an Atmega 32U4, an RGB LED, an infrared LED, and a lithium-ion charging circuit. The roving network's 42 Bluetooth module allows us to connect wirelessly to a computer. Tracker uses an orientation filter from Sebastian Magwick that takes the raw data from the magnetometer, the gyroscope, and the accelerometer and fuses them into a single stable quaternion, which we then send out over Bluetooth, over USB using the LUFA library, or directly over serial. Tracker is open source hardware, and the firmware and desktop libraries are also open source. You can download the source code and get more information about the project at adjacentreality.org. Donnie and I will also be bringing the Adjacent Reality Tracker, Snow Globe, and some other really cool motion tracking related stuff to the Bay Area Maker Faire this year. We'll be at Fiesta Hall, so check us out there.